Hey everybody, it's Derek and welcome back to CRM Tip of the Day's Video Tips, your source for tips and step-by-step -step instruction on the latest version of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So we've got a quick one for you today. Today we're going to talk about the new Immersive Excel feature that was introduced as part of the Spring Update for 2015. So the ability to take CRM information and bring it into Excel so you can manipulate it and work with it, that isn't necessarily anything new. This concept actually allows you to open Excel online within Microsoft Dynamics CRM, make some changes to your data, work with it to, to some degree, and then basically bring it back in and do kind of an import on the fly. That way you can make minor adjustments, but you never actually ever have to leave the application itself. Now, in order to work with this, you do have to have Excel online. So that's the first and foremost scenario that you'll have to set up. But let's go ahead and take a look at how it's going to work in the application. So conceptually, the ability to take CRM data and bring it into Excel, that's not anything new. We've had that for as many versions as we can remember. Now what they've done is they've just streamlined the process to make it a little bit easier to get that information into Excel without necessarily having to leave the application. So you know, to facilitate it, I can really start from, from any view or any entity within the application. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a system view or if it's a personal view. About the only limitation that you have at this point is it doesn't work off of advanced find. So if if I go into advanced find, I open up an advanced find view, you know, edit my columns, do all that stuff. If I try to export the information out to Excel, I won't see an option to do the immersive Excel. So really the only option you would have at that point would be to go ahead and save the view as a personal view. And then once you've saved the view as a personal view, now you have the capabilities to use the feature. You just can't actively use it within advanced find. So to actually consume the feature, I'm going to go up to export to Excel and choose open with Excel online. And it's going to take the snippet of all the data that you have in that current view with all the columns that have been added. So if you've added columns to that, that information will show up. Once it's open in Excel, now you have the ability to make changes to the information. So I can come in here, I could add a credit limit to this particular item. So I'm going to go ahead and say that their credit limit is $35,000. I'll make some adjustments to this person here, maybe give them a credit limit of $50,000. Change their address from Phoenix to Renton. And maybe delete a phone number. Now I can go ahead and save changes to CRM. And when I save the changes to CRM, this is pretty much just going to create an import job. And so all this updated information is going to be treated as an import. It'll then go into imports, and then I can check the status on it, just like any no normal import I would have from an application perspective. So once the import has been completed, now I can see that my changes are reflected in the application. So the phone number that I deleted from Fourth Coffee has disappeared. The credit limits that I've added to the application have also been added within there from that perspective. So it does give you quite a bit of flexibility to be able to make you know, quick changes within the application itself. Sometimes if you get into larger changes or very significant changes in the past that's had issues with you know, charts and formatting and some of those types of different situations, it can cause errors and won't allow the information to, to import within that situation. But even you know adding some records and, and items from that, it does actually allow that and I have been and you are able to get that to work. Let's give you an example of that. So again, I'm going to go ahead and open this with Excel online. This time maybe I'm going to go ahead and just add an account into the application. So I'm going to go ahead and choose maybe ABC company, and then I'll go ahead and save my changes. Now again, same thing, it'll submit the import, and then once the import is successful, I will now see the new record in the application. Now, if you need to make significant changes, you still have your traditional export to Excel option, which they've actually improved upon a little bit. So when I go up to export and I choose, for example, static worksheet, one of the things that they've done now is made it more of a one-click scenario. So when I go ahead and hit export and I click on open, it's still going to open the information up in Excel. But if you remember in the past, you would get warning messages, you know, around data types and, and different situations from that. You don't get those anymore. So it's a much more streamlined process when you bring the information into Excel. The other thing that's nice is now once you open it up, if you do make changes to any of that information and save it, 
all Excel files are re-importable from that standpoint. So you now have the capabilities to make your changes, go ahead and save it, and now import it back into the application. Whereas before, we always had to go in from that perspective, and we always had to export it first. And at the time when you exported it, say you wanted to make it importable, you don't have to do that anymore with the new import functionality. Um, everything is automatically importable from that perspective. So as you can see, there's not much to it. It's a pretty straightforward feature, but in a pinch, if you need to make just some quick changes, it's kind of a nice option to have at your disposal. Or at the very least, if you need to, you can always go back and use kind of more traditional methods, which have been streamlined and made kind of the import process a little bit easier. Um, take a look at them, give them a shot and see what you think. And again, this is Derek, and I want to say thank you very much, and we'll talk to you real soon. Take care.